Today is so exciting. I have not one but two patterns to show you as well as a brand new limited edition yarn called Restore Fingering and I'm going to be giving away 10 skeins of this yarn so keep a watch for that. Let's start with this beautiful pattern called Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is a lovely lacy shawl with a gorgeous vintage appeal. It's open, it's airy, and it has a touch of elegance. I will be showing you how to make this later in the video. It has a very simple repeating stitch pattern for the body so even if you're a beginner you can totally work that part. And if you want to take it to the next level I'm going to be showing you how to work this top border with these fun little picots and ridges and also the beautiful bottom border which looks like little regal crowns or flowers. I feel like when you're wearing this you're just gonna feel like you're walking through a Jane Austen novel. And for the color we chose to make this in Invigorate which is a rich ancient gold and I love it so much because I think it will pair well with so many things. And for the knitters we also have this adorable tank pattern also made in our Restore Fingering yarn called Pascal. It's a sweet summer tank with a nice open neckline and adorable little buttons going down the side. This is perfect for warmer temperatures or for layering. And the color of this one is called Tangible, which is a rich pumpkin shade. I love it so much. So I have been so excited to tell you about this new yarn. This is our brand new limited edition Restore Fingering. Restore Fingering is a beautiful upcycled yarn. Our yarn factory ends up with all kinds of little tiddly bits of unused yarn. And rather than throwing that away, they blended it into this beautiful yarn for us. This is a soft cuddly blend of alpaca, wool, and viscose. And it's ideal for shawls and tops like I've shown you. Also sweat cardigans, blankets, pullovers, and so much more. You can grab the yarn and download the patterns at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there go ahead and sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. So I would love to show you how to make this beautiful sweet pea shawl today. Go ahead and grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started with the body. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a slip knot and I'm going to begin with a chain 38. I'm doing a smaller swatch today to show you all the stitches. You will have a lot more chains for the actual shawl. For row one, we're going to work an asymmetrical shell into the sixth chain from our hook. So count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to work into that one. An asymmet asymmetrical shell is four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to chain two and then work a double crochet into that same space. So it should look like that, all of that into that sixth chain. Now you're gonna repeat across, skip six chains, and work your shell. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the seventh one, you're gonna work that same asymmetrical shell. So make sure you skip six and work into the seventh. So four double crochets, one, two, three, four, chain two, and one double crochet. And continue to repeat that across your row. So I'm finishing up my final shell. Yours should be looking like this, and when you get to the end and you have four stitches left, you're going to skip three chains and just work a double crochet into that final chain. For row two, we're going to turn, of course, and we're going to start with a chain two. Then we're going to work an asymmetrical shell into each chain two space from the asymmetrical shells from the previous row, all the way across to the end. So in this chain two space, work your four double crochets, two, three, four, your chain two, and your one double crochet. So there's your first asymmetrical shell, and just continue to work that into each chain two space across. So when you get to the end and you've worked your final shell, you're gonna find your turning chain over here, and you're just gonna work a double crochet in the top of that turning chain. So here's what the body should look like when you get started. Then you're just gonna continue repeating that row moving up. Then to complete the body, you're just gonna repeat row two as mentioned in the pattern or until you love the side. And now we're gonna go ahead and work the bottom border. For row one of the bottom border, we're gonna start with a chain one. We're gonna turn, of course. 
and we're going to single crochet into this first double crochet of the first asymmetrical shell. Then you'll repeat across your row two single crochets into the chain two space and then one single crochet into each of the double crochets. So nice and easy. So as promised, I am giving away 10 skeins of this beautiful new yarn collection. So if you would love to enter, just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and go ahead and comment below and let me know what color you would love to make this shawl in. So go ahead and finish off with your remaining five single crochets. Three, four, and get that last one in, five. For row two, we're gonna start with a chain four. Two, three, four, and that does count as a double crochet and a chain one. So you're gonna skip one single crochet, and into the next one, go ahead and work a double crochet. Then you're gonna repeat across your row, chain one, skip the next single crochet, and work a double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next, all the way across your row. And there you go. For row three, we're gonna start with a chain five, two, three, four, five, turn of course, and you're gonna work six triple crochets into the next chain one space. So right here, this very first one, work six triple or treble crochets. There's one, two, we've got three, we've got four, We've got five and boop, 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 six. So it should look like that. Next, you're gonna chain three, two, three, and you're gonna skip the next chain one space and you're gonna single crochet into the next one. Now you're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna skip the next two chain one spaces. So skip this one and skip this one, and you're gonna single crochet into the next one. And then chain three. Then you repeat across your row, skip the next two chain one spaces, skip, skip, and then six triple crochets into the next one. So boop, boop. One. Boop, boop, two. Three, boop, 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 four, five, and do, 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 six. So make sure you have your six. Chain three, and you're gonna skip the next chain one space and you're gonna single crochet into the next one. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then skip the next two chain one spaces, bloop, bloop, and single crochet into the next one, and chain three. And you're gonna continue repeating that across your row until you have three, one, two, three, chain one spaces left. So when you get to the end, you're gonna skip the next two, so skip, skip, and then into this final one, you're going to work six, triple crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six, doop, doop, and then you're going to work a triple crochet into the fourth chain of the turning chain. For row four, we're going to start with a chain five, two, three, four, and five. You will turn, of course, and you're going to work a triple crochet in the first three triple crochets of the six triple crochet cluster. So see those six there? Work in these first three. So we've got one, 
and then two, and then three. Then a chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna work a triple crochet into each of the second set of three triple crochets of the six triple crochet cluster. So I'll go ahead and do that again. One, two, and three. So this forms sort of a split cluster, if you wanna think of it like that. So go ahead and chain five, three, four, five, and you're gonna skip the next chain three space, and you're gonna single crochet into the chain five space. Then you're gonna skip the next chain three space, and you're gonna continue repeating the same thing across your row. So chain five, three, four, five, and then work your split cluster and continue to the end of your row. And when you get to the end, go ahead and finish with your final three triple crochets. And then go ahead and work a triple crochet also into the top of that turning chain. For row five, you're gonna repeat across your row, chain five, one, two, three, four, five and into the chain five space here you're going to work two double crochets one two and then we're going to work a little pico so to create that you're going to chain five three four five and slip stitch into the top of this last double crochet made so i like to just grab that little leg there and slip stitch so you have a little pico and we're going to work that five times so again, two double crochets into that same chain five space. One, two, and create your little pico. So chain five, two, three, four, five, slip stitch into the last double crochet you just made and continue on. Two double crochets, one, two, chain five for our pico, three, four, five, slip stitch into the top of the double crochet so we've got three, we need two more. So we want five picots in each little thing. So one double crochet, two double crochets, chain five, four, five, slip stitch into the top of the double crochet, and one more time, two double crochets, one and two, and then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then slip stitch. So just check and make sure that you have one one, two, three, four, five little picots. So it looks like a little crown. Then you're gonna chain five, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna double crochet into the next chain five space. So right here. Go ahead and double crochet into that. And go ahead and double crochet right away into that next chain five space. And then you'll just continue repeating that all the way across your row, creating your little crowns. Now, when you do get to the end, one, two, three, four, go ahead and finish off your final pico, four and five, slip stitch, and then you're gonna complete your row with a chain two, 
and then you're going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain of your turning chain. So here's what you should be looking at. You've got your little sets of six triple crochets, sort of your little split clusters, if you will, and then your little crowns. And then here's how you work the top border. Now I've turned around our piece and we're working on the top of our shawl. So you're going to go ahead and attach some yarn. I just like to grab it. There you go. And then we're going to start with a chain one. And then we're going to work three single crochets into this first space. One, two, and three. Then you're going to single crochet into this space created by the asymmetrical shell. Then you're going to work six single crochets into this space here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And just continue to repeat that across your row. Single crochet into the space created by the asymmetrical shell and then six single crochets into the next space. And when you get all the way down to the end, go ahead and work your final single crochet into that space created by your asymmetrical shell. And then you're going to work four single crochets into the last chain space. Two, three, and four. For row two, we're going to turn and start with a chain one. And then work a single crochet into each of the first two single crochets. Then you're going to repeat across your row, chain six, one, two, three four, five, six, skip five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet into the next one. Then you're going to work three picots. So a picot is chain three, and then slip stitch into the top of this single crochet you just worked. And do that two more times, chain three, slip stitch into that same space, one more time, chain two, three, slip stitch into that same space, boop, and then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch and just continue repeating that across your row. And when you do get down to your final six single crochets, you're going to go ahead and skip five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. You're going to chain six and single crochet into that last one. So go ahead and work your one, two, three, four, five, six chains. Skip your five single crochets and single crochet into that final stitch. Row three, we've turned and we're going to start with a chain one and we're going to single crochet into the first single crochet. You're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet into the chain six space. Then you're going to repeat across your row, chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you're going to jump across and you're going to single crochet into the next chain six space. Boop. And just continue repeating that across your row. Chain two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochet into the next chain six space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you get to the final one, just go ahead and work a chain one and you're going to single crochet into the final single crochet of the row below. For row four, we're going to go ahead and turn and start with a chain one. And you're going to skip the first single crochet and chain one space. Then you repeat across your row, single crochet into the next single crochet. And work 11 single crochets into the chain eight space. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then you just continue repeating that. So you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet and then 11 single crochets into the chain eight space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Single crochet in the single crochet. And these single crochets will spread out and fill out in the chain space. One, two, three, four, eight, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. And keep going. Single crochet in the next single crochet. And here's my final space. So let's work eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and when you do get to the end go ahead and single crochet into the next single crochet chain one you're going to skip your chain one space and you're just going to go ahead and slip stitch into that final stitch and you are good so here is our absolutely gorgeous piece we have our body here we've got our beautiful top border with our little single crochets and then our gorgeous little crown bottom border so there you have it my friend i hope that tutorial was helpful and that you enjoyed it have fun making your own version enjoy your week and i will see you next week with another pattern Bye bye